Hey kids, welcome back to Honestville. Um, I am a little bit exasperated. I've been doing some work off screen, <laughs> and uh, some of it didn't go so well. Uh, most notably, this idea I had of kind of putting farms in all the tiles, um, kind of from the start, it's, it's just not going to work. Uh, and I'll show you why. The, the, the reason is because when you develop a tile, you can see I've made some changes to Honestville Central and I, I'm going to show you guys that uh, as soon as we start. But the, the reason is that uh, when you develop a region and you give it services, or a, a, a tile, sorry, when you develop a tile like Honestville Central and you give it services and it, it starts getting demand for other types of developments, sometimes, not always, but sometimes when you load up a neighboring tile, the agricultural demand instantly disappears for that tile. So, uh, and I have not found any rhyme or reason. Uh, I've experimented with things like cutting off the road connections. I, I've, you can see these tiles, these, both of these tiles I've actually obliterated a couple times. We hadn't built anything in them. Uh, I had obliter obliterated these tiles and started them again. I've cut off the road connections, uh, assuming that maybe that's what was causing the demand to s disappear and stuff like that. And there's really just no rhyme or reason to it as far as I can tell. Um, if someone knows, uh, if someone has a suggestion, by all means, uh, let me know. Uh, I have, I have, I know in the past kind of succeeded in forcing tiles to develop agriculture without simply using some kind of cheat. Uh, but short of using a, you know, a cheat in, in the sort of console or whatever, uh, I don't really see a way that we're going to get that to happen reliably. And also, the you know, just do, doing the farms is going to be incredibly tedious. It's something that I'm going to do off, uh, I was going to do uh, off screen. Uh, and... And the reality is that, uh, you know, as I was trying to do the farms for North Ward and, and for North Ward off screen, I, I basically, I just couldn't, couldn't get it to happen. Uh, and that involved me, having, you know, having to obliterate tiles and do all sorts of stuff that I really, really don't want to be doing with a region that I'm using for a Let's Play. So I just, I don't think it's a good idea. Uh, a few of you have uh, requested that I use the uh, Simpeg Agriculture mod, uh, the spam mod as it is known. Uh, I I am reconsidering. I am reconsidering. I'm not going to put it in right now, but what I was going to consider doing was we're going to focus on developing these, uh, what is it, seven tiles, and uh, we're going to try and develop these reasonably quickly in the next you know ten episodes or whatever, uh, and then when I get to some of these really far outlying tiles, then I might install the spam mods and really focus on creating kind of an agricultural agricultural hinterland so there might be a whole kind of phase of this let's play where we're really just focusing on that mod <coughs> and I think that I think that could be uh, an interesting way to do things kind of an interesting compromise it's a bit unfortunate but uh, vanilla the vanilla farms in the game are just are just not gonna cut it and and it's I'm, I'm kicking myself for for even suggesting it in the first place because I, I basically already knew this like I just I knew this was gonna be a problem so I don't know why I suggested that we would do it that way uh, we're not gonna do it that way so I do apologize uh, but uh, let's we're just gonna move on we're gonna move on um, on that note uh, let's take a look at uh, Honestville Central. I've got a whole list of names uh, that have accumulated and they're starting to accumulate pretty fast to a degree where I'm going to start putting them on the map. Uh, you guys have suggested some excellent names. Uh, one, somebody, and I mentioned this last episode, I think somebody did suggest that I use numbered wards like in Paris, which I think is great. So on, I'll, I'll, I'll change the name of Honestville Central at some point. It'll be Honestville Central in brackets one. And I'll put like, I'm going to use the cardinal directions for, for these wards here and also give them numbers. I think that's really cool. And we'll use maybe some more scenic place names for the kind of outlying counties. Um, and I, anyway, I've also, and I've got lots of names for neighborhoods that you guys, neighborhoods and parks and stuff like that for, that you guys have suggested. So I'm gonna dive into Honestville Central and show you what I've done there. I will show you the problem with North Ward after I'll demonstrate this, this very frustrating problem with the agriculture. Um, it's just, it's just too, too messy uh, to to continue with it. So, like I said, we will probably be essentially dezoning this agriculture and building the city out. We'll, I'll leave the farms that are there for now, um, but uh, but we're gonna have to we're gonna have to have a, a slightly different approach to the agricultural stuff. Uh, it's not like I wanted to have farms in the in the central city anyway. But yeah, so I've also received some really interesting um, suggestions on a sort of urban planning planning basis. 
uh, trying to avoid making kind of a square city. Uh, and I've, I've extended the road network here um, with, with that in mind, trying to avoid the kind of blocky square, square look that SimCity 4 cities tend to have. Uh, and so, so that's, that's sort of one thing. Um, Chong Hung Chang 3002 recommended that I use kind of Savannah style planning and I think that's a really great idea. Savannah has this, uh, Savannah Georgia has this like grid pattern with, with these evenly spaced parks kind of spread around town. So, uh, so that, that is something that I'm, abs it's, it's actually something that I was already thinking about when I started to make these kind of radial uh, roads. It was something that I had in mind uh, that I might want to try in a series on this channel, a sort of Savannah, Georgia type planning. So uh, I, yeah, I want to do that. I want to do that. I think it's a great idea. Um, inspiration from real life cities is always cool in this game. So anyway, I'll show you what I've done. So I dezoned all the agriculture here and, and, and sort of made a ring. And I've created these, like I've created these kind of streets these will eventually maybe turn into avenues and they're kind of radiating out from central points and you know some of them kind of extend out to more direct connections to the neighbors and stuff like that so i think it's going to be really interesting um it's going to create a, a an interesting kind of dynamic uh and i think then the first case will kind of build this city that that kind of radiates outward from the from the water uh, and then I think that we will build kind of strips narrow strips coming out along these along these roads that extend out from it uh, some of these roads I actually might get rid of uh, they were they're basically just roads that were there for the farms so I might actually get rid of them um, in, uh, in in the next like this, these kind of crossroads and stuff I might just get rid of them because that they don't really fit into my plan they were really just there to serve these farms which are actually not not going to be a thing anyway so that's that let's uh let's go through some name suggestions you guys submitted so uh, also from chong hung chang uh 3002 uh requested that i name the the tip of this kind of bay here pioneer what was it pioneer head which i think is a great name uh it's a great name for almost just the sort of geographical feature so let me just grab the, uh, it's this one that I want, the signpost. Pioneer head, there we go. First name in the new city. I'm just gonna cross that off my list. I literally have a list in front of me. <laughs> and it's a long list. Uh, Zappy99 um, requested uh, Z Zanies, I think we're Zan, yeah, Zanies Beach. So we've got a beach here. That's perfect. And I, I, I'm going to assume that the neighborhood around this this uh, this beach is going to be also named Zany's Beach. Um, Maylail uh, requested that a, re a, a tile be named Lady Lake. I actually like the idea of naming this little thing here Lady Lake. I know that there's a there, there's there's a town in I think. British Columbia and maybe California called Lady Lake. I'm gonna go with this spelling. Uh, I like the idea of just naming the lake that. Um, so I'm gonna cross those off my list as well. Uh, that suggestion might have come actually, there are a few suggestions that I've accumulated from Plantation Babe videos that kind of came after I'd already finished that series. So if some of you guys made these uh, requests on the Plantation Bay videos, I will kind of just transfer them over to this this city because I, I don't really see you doing any work on on uh, on plant on the old Plantation Bay region um, in the in the foreseeable future anyway. Uh, let's see, see if there's there's a few there's lots of others here. I'm not going to do them all at once. Um, do I have a university in this city? I thought I did, but I guess I don't. No, I don't. Okay, I have a, a name request for the university but uh, but that's not going to go in yet because we don't have one. Oh yes uh, Angela Binning requested and this was again I believe on the Plantation Bay videos uh, requested Tanasia Gardens uh, I guess as a name for a neighborhood I am going to use it as the name for a park and we'll call it Tanasia Garden. Uh, I want to create a few more of these kind of roundabout type squares I'm just looking for a good Kind of central location. We've got a market square there. You know what? We're, we'll just use this one. And I'll put a garden. Oh dear. No. 
Uh, see, now I've just cut all my agriculture off, off from the power grid. <laughs> Man, these farms are just killing me. Um, yeah, no, it's just, uh, it was foolish of me to, uh, to even, even attempt the ambitious farming plan that I had. Okay, Tanasia Garden, and I'm just going to put a label on that too so we can actually see it. Okay. Right. Uh, so I'll hold on to the other ones for now. Um, I don't want to. Uh, I want. I don't want to do these in a rush uh, because I want them to kind of stand out, and you know, I want them to be kind of want to kind of think them over before I do them. Right. Um, so I have to think now. Now that we're not doing the farms, we have to think about what we are doing uh, in terms of. In terms of the kind of urban planning, urban developments of this this region, and I think we are going to do kind of an industrial belt around the edge of of Honestville Central. Uh, the reason being that one of the things you'll notice is that there's a lot of there's a lot of the kind of chronic unemployment going on and people too far from work so we do need we need to distribute employment because of the low density of the residential because of the residential housing mod we, we need to distribute employment a little bit more evenly across the region <coughs> so a combination of retail and industry uh, there is going to be an industrial port city in the in the north ward. That's going to happen a little bit differently. Uh, but anyway, uh, I already put. Uh, I was just kind of fooling around with the zones. I, I I adjusted some of the zoning here. There were some little gaps in the zones and stuff that I kind of fixed. So we've got this kind of medium density, kind of radiating radiating out from these commercial areas here. Uh, let's. I think we'll finish zoning this tile. We will be going over to North Ward uh, soon, but let's grab. Uh, I'm gonna use the low density for now. Probably gonna have to upgrade that sooner rather than later, though. Probably gonna want to go with. Um, yeah, probably gonna want to go with uh, with the um, medium density commercial right away in this tile very soon. But not quite yet. Uh, I need another bus stop, maybe. No, I think it's fine. Okay. And once again, I really do want to reiterate this. This region has a very. I am using a very experimental approach here. So we are we are gonna we we, we are gonna run into these kind of hiccups, you know, um, where I I'm trying to do something and it's just not working, and we're kind of hitting the limitations of what the game is able to do. I think that's just uh, just how it's gonna be. Uh, let's actually I'm just looking at this road network here, and we need we need a kind of connection here, ideally a diagonal one. Um, but in fact, I can fix this one easily. Just kind of sticking to my plan here. This one we can just sort of do directly. We are. I'm just redo these zones. It's gonna make for a whoa. Did I? I think I just hit. Yeah, I just I just hit a hot key to zoom out there. Sorry about that. Um, that was thankfully not the thing where you fuck up and use the scroll, <laughs> the scroll on the mouse, which uh, which is like the the Sim City killer. Um. Right. I'm gonna stick another bus stop over here. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. What if I can make that a little bit tidier? Ooh, can we get one of these like cross-shaped intersections to work? Sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. The answer is no. Okay, well. We're gonna go with another roundabout type of deal. Mm. 
this should work. Yep. Sort of. Maybe not. Okay. Ah, oh, there we are. Looks good to me. <coughs> and I'll put another... Let's go with another garden. Uh, this this dump has to go. It's going to be hard to get rid of it. It was uh, rather foolish of me to place it there to begin with, but uh, we will we will deal with it shortly. Uh, we need to we need to have a uh, a plan for waste disposal for this region. Right, and then I wanted another road connection here, kind of connects up there. And what I'm going to do is actually probably just use the existing roads mostly here doesn't necessarily need to be diagonal. Probably should though. So maybe I will... I don't mind at this stage of the game kind of redoing some of the road network here. I'm gonna do something like this. There we are. And then we'll just connect it up. And I'll just get rid of some of these extra roads. There we are. Okay, actually that all works pretty nicely. Just another bus stop. It's fine. Oh jeez, I've done it again. I'm hitting the one key instead of the Q key. There we are, and this should be, I guess, uh, there we go, sort of medium density. Right, and ideally we would need another one here as well. This one's going to be a little bit trickier, but I'll connect it up. Yeah, I know what I'll do. Needed a little bit denser road network, I think. I think that's part of the issue in terms of unemployment and stuff the roads to get where they're going. The streets don't quite cut it. There we are. Um, yeah, we will actually just put that road back in there. And this one doesn't need to be there. And then I think we need another roundabout type thing here. a bit smaller, just for variety's sake. Actually, I don't know if that will work. No, that one won't work. Uh, it's nice. It's very nice looking, but it won't work for it for this shape that we're using here. So we're gonna have to go a little bit wider out. There we are. of almost European style plazas. Oh, this is a large one, I guess. Uh, yep, we'll go with the large flower garden for now. Okay, and there was a bus stop there, I think. Spending all my money here. Very cool. Yeah, sort of a series of these squares uh, around the central part of the city. Could put one there as well. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna hold off on that. Maybe we'll do that one later. Um, yeah. So let's. I, I've erased a little bit of residential in the process of doing this. So let's just start expanding the city. Uh, I'm going to zone. I think the industry. Well, let's actually run the clock a bit to make some money. Oh, did I reconnect? Yeah, I did, okay. I wanna turn off the um, Houston one. I don't like it. I'll turn it on later. I've already got some of those buildings and they just, they, I find they just really don't fit. I like the New York and the Chicago ones. 
sort of more old-fashioned looking city. Right. Um, so, I'm going to zone industry. There's going to be industry along here. I wonder how much I can afford to zone. Not much more than that. Could do the water as well. And I'm going to do one of those belt rail lines. Um, it's not going to serve a function in the sense that the industry is likely to use the road network to actually move freight out of um, out of Honestville. <coughs> but uh, I'm going to do it uh, sort of for decorative purposes almost. Um, just going to take roads like here. Or a street, I, I mean. And we need to kind of connect this up a bit. I'm just going to use... I'm not going to be too particular about which how I do this part because it's sort of industry and that's going to need a uh, bus as well let's get some more money finish this zone up we're going to give them buses This should probably be one of those roundabout type things as well. Kind of big square. Also don't want to do too many of those uh, at the start because uh, I'm going to end up redoing them as avenues at some point. I do, I do like the idea of building with uh, roads and then upgrading to avenues or one ways at some points. Uh, I like that idea. Just kind of develop the city more naturally and not build transportation infrastructure that we don't need. Uh, and then I'll do I'll do one that kind of goes along this road here, maybe on the outside of that road, and start to think about where that rail line will eventually go. But I'm going to hold off on that for now because we don't have any demand. Uh, and now let's take a look at our traffic. Try and see if there's a good spot for more commercial that we could do. Maybe along here. Let's extend this out here as well. I built commercial on the tra in the high traffic areas because uh, the the commercial performs better. Uh, it's not ne it's not necessary. You don't have to do it that way. Oh, insufficient funds, of course. here. Yeah, this should be commercial for sure. Like that. We need to zone some residential very soon. Got some leftover farms here. Let's get rid of them. Okay. Now, I can actually extend these guys out and have them be kind of the cross streets. Oh, perfect. That's working out reasonably well. Yeah, it should be fine. Alright, I'm going to be looking at some maps of Savannah and uh, making a plan for how that happens um, later.
like off screen, or I might do it on screen actually. We, we might go on a little field trip to uh, Google Maps and look at some city, some city maps, uh, and kind of draw on. Uh, oops. Draw on, um, you know, some sort of city planning knowledge, basically. Job issues, but these streets, these roads here are all going to have commercial on them as soon as, uh, as soon as things develop. We're going to go over to North uh, North Ward as well and do kind of a similar thing there. Okay, we're out of water, I think. Water. The big guy cost fifteen thousand. Well, that's what we're gonna do. Probably gonna have trouble affording with our budget, but I think it'll be okay. Might want to share water next with the uh, next door neighbors. There's a bunch of stuff in the budget that I can lower that I just haven't bothered. Yeah, we're fine. Let's take a look at our radiuses here. Oh yeah, these are this area is basically still covered. I don't have any police stations. Interesting. <laughs> <coughs> I'm fine with that. And health. Yeah, okay, perfect. So we've covered the entire city. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, with, uh, with basic services. Commercial demands. Just keep taking a look at traffic here. Yeah, as I thought, we can rezone the area along this road. Hmm. I'm going to just actually dezone and rezone, it's going to be easier. Actually, wait, does this, no, let's just do that. I just want to develop out, especially in the north side here, I want to develop out to the edge of that city. Um, it's going to help structure the kind of employment and everything. Have I got uh, buses here? Volume, road, traffic, yeah, okay, we're good, we got buses. This one here as well, I think, will get the same treatment. I'm gonna start probably zoning medium density soon, kind of across the region. Here we are. Like all of this should be probably upgraded to medium. But we're out of money. Mm, there we go, like that. Right. 
There we go. Give the population a big boost. Still got lots of demand for residential. Um, what should we do here? I think at this point we can go over to the um, North Ward. All these other areas here are going to be developed in a similar kind of zoning pattern. So if you take a look at the um, the zoning map here, this is this is kind of what I'm going for here. Like this will be a commercial strip as well, kind of having these main streets with a few blocks of residential in back of them. Uh, that's that's kind of the plan. For the uh, for the entire region for this for this tile sorry not for the entire region um, that's the plan but uh, I think it's time to go over next door get some residential over there and maybe start working on some uh, some industry as well yeah it's crazy the uh, the event the the travel zots or whatever they're called. Like, if I look at these buildings, they're, they really are having trouble. It's probably because of my network out on mod settings. I might adjust them. I might put them to the kind of more standard American um, one rather than the kind of mid, the, the, Ameri the um, I have one that's kind of halfway between the American one and the uh, European one. And I think it's screwing things up. I think there's just not enough buses. There's just not enough buses in this region. I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Like, it's not too much of a problem here. Obviously the people living in the middle of these, these sort of blocks are, are pretty far from a road. Sure. Like, are these buildings going to function? I wonder. I see no commuters, but they have They just built, so that might be why. Yeah, no, they're not. Uh, they're not functioning. Have any demand for zones that were not uh, that are not building either, which is weird. Hmm. Didn't have this problem as much in uh, Plantation Bay either. It's the it's the definitely the density that's causing it, the lower density, as well as possibly the network out on mod settings. Hmm. Anyway, uh, let's uh, let's hop out of Honestville and go up to the North Ward save button and I'll show you what I've done there and I'll show you the kind of problem I had with the uh, the agriculture that's going to prevent me from doing what I wanted to do just wait for it to there we go okay so I built the roads up here um, I, I ended up as I said I ended up kind of Having to, uh, let me just uh, do the, can I, no, okay, let me just do the little cheat here so I can redo these trees, and I get them back to how they were before, because I had to obliterate, I just, I had to obliterate this region and then redo these roads, and it was just, it was really just completely silly, because uh, what happens is basically this. Like as soon as I load, as soon as I load the map and kind of press play, uh, you can see that the, the 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 demand here has just carried over from Honestville. So there's no way for us to get this agriculture. There's just no way for us to get it back. That's just how the game is made, and it's unfortunate, but it is it is what it is. So yeah, I I want the I want to put for this for this ward. I want to put the ports um, up here. 
And my idea was to have rail leaving the ports and going out here and kind of creating a rail loop around, around the edge of the central city. I don't think there's going to be any highways cutting right through the central city. I'm going to go for more for the sort of ring road highway again. I, I really like that mode of development. Um, so it's going to be a rail loop around the edge of the city. And that's going to be primarily industrial. But uh, yeah, if I want the if I want the port to develop, I, I have to develop the industry in the center of the tile so that it's it's closer to the port than it is from the from the edge edge connections of the map. Otherwise, the ports won't develop and upgrade. Um, so I think that's also just going to make it interesting. I think it's going to make it interesting. So let's start by making a residential neighborhood here. And I'm not going to build any commercial in this in this neighborhood for the time being. Uh, I'm going to try and get them to force them to go into the central area to do their shopping, so to speak. Just, uh, okay, I can fix this. Just adjust this here. In fact, no, okay. Someone suggested that I name, uh, I sort of, instead of using a numbered street grid, that I I name a bunch of the major streets after philosophers, and I think that's an excellent idea. Um, I'm going to do that. It was Matthew Bennett, yeah, um, who suggested that I name it after important philosophers. I want to, I'm going to do it in chronologically so that... Uh, so that instead of having like a numbered street system, you have like a chronological street system named after philosophers. I think that's going to be hilarious. Um, I think it's a really great idea. And that's fine. I'll keep it as it is. Okay. Uh, I don't want to run out of money here. I've got to be a little bit careful. This is the power connection for the whole city. So if I delete it, we're going to have a serious problem. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. We'll see if that, if the you know sharing power plants is going to be a viable option. Sometimes it causes problems. Sometimes it's okay. Uh, but maybe I'll leave that buffer zone there just to remind me not to. looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Um, I will start, I'll put the buses in, because they do need to be able to get around town.
Okay. Oh, missing a couple here. There we go. Uh, I'm going to hold off on developing this whole area here because the city kind of hasn't extended out here yet. So let's do the zoning. I'm going to use some, I'm going to be using, uh, I've been playing around with like seawalls and stuff too, so expect to see kind of a more landscaped coastline in this region. Once I get going with the ports, I'll kind of extend the seawalls out from the outward from the ports. That's not gonna work. Whoa. Okay, I've just toggled my uh, my languages thing. I don't know if you guys actually see that. It's a little overlay that comes up from Windows because I, I type in multiple languages on this computer. And, uh, English and French, and there's like one of the hotkeys I'm mashing here as I do this that brings it up all the time, and it's very confusing or distracting, really. We might need to do that power deal before we... I don't know if we can do it before we unpause here. The neighbor deals are very glitchy, I find. Um, I'm really hoping I can at least get the power one to work. If I can't, uh, then... Fuck it. But we'll see. Could be cool to also maybe create one of those garbage ports here and like ship out the garbage for some of the neighboring cities. That could be that could be neat to not have any garbage in the in the main kind of commercial district. Could be a fun idea. Oops. Yeah, let's uh, let's see if we can get that power deal. Otherwise, we're gonna have to go back next door and try and fix it. Yeah, import power. There we go. Oh, except that we're not actually plugged in. Mm. Ah, there we go. It worked. It worked. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay. I'm just have to not delete that guy. I wish the power connection wasn't... There was one way they would have been able to avoid this problem is just having cities all, always connected by power to one another. Just having all of the deals available regardless of whether the connection is actually physically there, you know? Um, kind of a hangover from earlier SimCity games, I think. Uh, a couple other things I want to do here. Just before we start on pausing. Oh, and I gotta put some parks too. Uh, that was something I <laughs> see. I'm already forgetting. So let's think about where we want those parks before I keep zoning here. Got lots of money, so I can screw around a little bit. Maybe we'll do one of those roundabouts, but like a, a tiny one this time. Yeah. Now we'll just disconnect that. There we are. That can be one way of doing parks. Do the same thing here. That size. There we are. I'm okay with that.
sure that one makes sense quite as much, but yeah, we'll leave it. Uh, that one's kind of a more triangular configuration, so I don't think it'll work. Okay, we can kind of redesign some of this here, parks and mines. Well, let's start with these two here, and then we will do small park green, small park green. Give me a bus stop. Okay, let's put the bus stop down here. I also put the bus stop in the middle of these can be a really cool approach to uh, buses. Kind of makes the bus the bus stop more visible as well. Very careful here, there we go. Requires surgical precision not to fuck up that power connection. There we are. Can put some parks in the in the areas that don't fit there. Can be one way to do it. But I actually, I do think that the uh, we'll be able to have some fun at a later date with the uh, the spam mod. Uh, it'll kind of be its own little mini series in this region, though. Um, I I the reason I don't use it uh, is that it it kind of it, it basically isn't designed for like building a big dense city. Uh, it actually it actually does weird things where it like uses up a lot of your demand for for uh, high wealth jobs. Um, so it's really best used for tiles that are mainly going to be agricultural. It doesn't really play well with the other zone types I have found, and I and I have no idea how it's going to uh, interact with the configuration that I have uh, for this region. But when I get when we get to the point where we're thinking about uh, you know doing some Doing some kind of more agricultural stuff um, for this region, I will basically just back up the entire region. And so, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It'll be one of those experiments. Uh, and I think that's fine. I think it's totally fine to to kind of experiment with it and see how it works. Glad we're going to be doing a, a rail loop soon too, because that's one of the biggest changes in the network out on mod 37. It's part of the reason too why I decided to just like cut my losses in with the agriculture stuff, because uh, you know I I, I I gotta sit back and think like this series. A big part of it is me playing around with the network out on mod 37 and horsing around with the broken agriculture system is just it has nothing to do with that. It's just nothing does not meet any of the the sort of goals I had in terms of like actually experimenting with the network out on mod and development so so yeah that was that's another aspect of why I'm choosing to kind of not do that that aspect of things Okay, we can do some kind of like back area parks here. If I'm very, very careful, I can put something here. Mm. 
that one. Where's the medium? No, medium park green. There. There we are. And then here we can put a, just some bigger ones. It's probably going to be a bit expensive, a bit over budget maybe. Might want to hold off on uh, doing too much more of this for now actually just to uh, avoid going bankrupt. Let's put another playground there. And then... a flower garden. Did I give him a skate park? Yeah, there's one over there. Look at that. These people are going to have tons of parks. Anything there? Looks pretty good. Leave that for now, I think. <coughs> there we go. Now we have church. Yeah, we're already making tons of cash. Because we're not really offering them any services, of course. Hmm, where does the church go? Graveyard in the edge of town this time. Here we are. how this mod setup is going to work. We will find solutions. I think I think we can make it work. It's just that the uh, this this kind of bullshit with the abandonment. I might have to play around with one of those like anti-abandonment mods to make this work because they're 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 being a bit too sensitive. They're just not that far. They're not that far from work. Um, so it might be one of my network out on mod settings. It might be God, we're making tons of cash though. Might be any number of things. However, uh, let's see what we can do here. Possibly we need to go over next door also and uh, just get them get them jobs basically. Let's uh, give them this, their services because we're making tons of cash. Oh, the mayor's house uh, is definitely going at the end of this roundabout on that point. Although that's not necessarily a good spot because that's I probably want to build a ferry terminal there, but I'll move later. Right. Uh, maybe we'll go with the small guy for now. Does it cover enough? 
Yeah, I think so. I think it might have been because they didn't have the education. I think that might have been it. Uh, let's go to our funding here and just fix that stuff. Just max it all out. Uh, maybe not this one. Okay. I want to go back to uh, I want to go back to Honestville Central uh, and just take a look at you know traffic and see how things are going. Make some commercial zones, some industrial zones, and stuff like that. Um, probably going to also look at density. I'm, I imagine this is going to very quickly go to kind of uh, medium density. It's very close to the central city, but uh, let's go take a look. Uh, I wonder if have we. Both a little bit of demand. Yeah, okay, let's take a look. Mm hmm. Yeah, try and get these industrial areas here to build up. And then I'll be building another industrial zone there. But definitely want this to be mostly uh, kind of medium residential. Maybe I'll leave it the area along the beach kind of lower density. Let the indus industry build up. Put some more commercial in. Do a little bit of back and forth here. One of the things about the jobless Zots is that Sims seem to always like working in neighboring cities. They seem to like working in neighboring cities almost more than they like working locally. It's a very strange phenomenon. Okay, we used up all of our industry, yes. We're actually getting uh, negative industrial demand here. Uh, let's take a look at, it's probably very little traffic, but a little bit. Yeah, starting to, starting to sort of densify the traffic a little bit. Uh, let's take this sort of cross street and make it residential. Did I just delete a bunch of industry? Hope not. No, I don't think so. Okay, we're good. Well, and actually, this can be all all commercial. Yeah, I like that. This way, the jobs are also close to the neighboring city, which is always a good thing. Gotta keep that gotta keep that power connection, <laughs> or we'll screw up. Uh, the North Ward. This should probably also be commercial. This is turning into one of those longish episodes again. But there's lots to do. Here we go. Starting to have the characteristics that I wanted. Uh, these streets here can be medium. Why there's residential there, but okay. 
There we are, looks good. And I can probably continue moving outward in the neighboring tile. And I think I will probably also zone that area kind of mid-density, at least the parts that are close to the neighboring connection or along the streets, the, the, the sort of arterial streets. Okay, we have a big demand for residential. I'm going to go over one more time, then I'm going to end this episode. I'm going to go over to the uh, North Ward and uh, just kind of finish zoning out a uh, little section of it there. And then we'll call it for this episode. I, I do think that this, this region is already starting to have a little bit more of a structured plan than, uh, than Plantation Bay did. So... Yeah, we'll see. 22,000 in the region. Something I don't like. Hmm, I'm not sure I like this road configuration here. I think I might change that and just have this one kind of go a little bit more straight. Yeah. I'm going to change that later. No. No, let's just leave it. Okay. Might not be a bad idea to put some commercial here as well. Might uh, it might actually help some of that abandonment. I I think I really do think that uh, Sims tend to prefer to work in neighboring tiles in a weird way. It's because of how the demand refreshes when you switch from tile to tile. It seems to favor uh, favor Sims kind of commuting because when you load up a new tile what happens is this city tile basically takes the job count from the neighboring ones and and kind of applies it to the local population so when that happens it seems to me that often they end up finding jobs in the neighboring city which is a bit of a weird uh, bit of a weird phenomenon but it does seem to happen so I may want to I may want to start thinking about basically uh, zoning, uh, zoning commercial right away in these outlying areas, uh, and just having more of it in the in the central one, rather than trying to deny it to them completely. Okay. Cross streets here. Oh, be smart to do it this way. Nope, not that one. This one. There we are. And some more buses. But I really am excited to see if we can get this this demographic experiment to work here. Um, you know, please do understand. I, I what I'm trying to do is is get to a realistic kind of population regional level um, in terms of density, and that's that's what I'm trying to do here. Not uh, 
not succeed at the game, in other words. Um, the goal is not to, to kind of, you know... It, it, the, the goal is to try and get the game to perform in a way that kind of m represents reality a little better, in my opinion. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see what happens. actually delete and then have it be like that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what will make sense. It could almost make more sense to do another ring road that kind of goes out this way rather than having that. We'll see. Anyway, uh, let's uh, let's run the clock a bit here. Keep zoning this. I'm going to put some parks in as well. Zoning. It's like sort of fun. It's sort of tedious. Oh god, this one I hate. There we go. Come on now. There we go. Alright, that looks good. Uh, and then let's just take this area here, kind of close to the... Close to the... Oh, see, don't do that. If I do that, I lose the whole fucking town. I really have to... Uh, I wish I could make those historical, you know, like where you can't delete them. Really have to not do that. <laughs> areas here for now. Oh, I see what I've done. 
Right. Tell you what, that's gonna drive me nuts. This to medium, this kind of stretch here, along that road, and then a little bit here. And we'll just see how things develop here. We don't have any water, that's why nothing's developing. Actually. Let's make a water connection to the neighbor. No, that's a bad idea. Well, yeah, let's not. Let's not. That's a bad idea. Uh, it's just going to... We, you, you run out of water so fast, you just end up building a whole bunch of these things, and so relying on like a neighbor's water is just not a good idea, unfortunately. We are relying on the power though, that's going to work fine for the time being. Should be able to power a few tiles with that one power plant. And replace it maybe with a, a less dirty one later. Love that large coal plant though, I really do. Uh, it's, it's great. Especially when I build these cities that sort of use the New York Chicago style buildings. Connect, please. There we go. got all of our schools and stuff here. Uh, growing city asks for more juice. Uh, it's also, we're also having a bit of a garbage problem, uh, which I'm going to resolve next game. Let's grab some more power. Next episode, I mean, I'm going to resolve the garbage problem. We're going to build some kind of dump maybe in this tile. But let's just let this grow for a second. We're going to pop out to the regional view. These, these little statues here fit perfectly into the little roundabouts. There we are. Wow, that's not one you see often. PhDs forsake industry to get rich, rich te teaching. Oh, trim the education budget. Yeah, well, I'm not going to bother. Yeah, see, we're not really having the, the same kind of abandonment issues here, not to the same degree anyway. Um, and that's because they're all going to work next door. And the transportation is perfectly fine for them to go to work next door, so yeah. Let's just go straight to 5,000. Gotta remember to max out the funding on that power plant as well. A golf course? Neat. And a church. Right. 
Now oh, that's developed up. That's developed pretty nicely. So yeah, this whole area here will be kind of an industrial port area. <laughs> I'll have a rail line coming around the outside here. Maybe kind of industry following that rail line as well. And that will also mean that as we build suburban areas that are further out in the city, they'll also be able to come in and work in that kind of strip of industry around the edge. So, so yeah. It's looking good. Let's take a quick snapshot of the region. Uh, as always, uh, feel free to comment, suggest a name. Uh, there, I've, I've got a list. Uh, I'm keeping a list carefully. Um, I, I, so if you have if you have left uh, suggested a name, I, I will I have written it down um, and I will put it in next episode at the beginning of the episode. So feel free to do that. If you like the uh, if you're liking these videos, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. See you next time. Ciao.